All right, Leo, let's get into your reading. Uh, first card out for your overall energy is blessed. Number 22, angel number 22, and flexible. All right, I do see eggs in um, both of these. I feel like there could be a new beginning happening for you. Uh, you could feel very blessed about this or feel like it's faded, destined, and you could be being, you know, a little bit flexible about it, you know, not being so stubborn or stuck in your ways or expecting a certain outcome. I feel like you're just kind of going with the flow here, which is good. All right, let's see. What is your person's overall energy for Leo in love? What's going on, Leo person's overall energy? All right. Co-create, serendipity, poised. Wow. All right. So... Both of you are showing up here with pretty positive energy. Um, seeing 4-4 four, four and 8-8, eight, 4-4, eight, four, four, oh, 44, four, four, a lot of fours. Look up angel number 4-4-4, four, 8-8 four, four, eight, eight, and 2-2 two, two, and see if there's messages there for you. Co-create. I feel like this person is maybe trying to manifest or work with the universe here for this new beginning. Uh, serendipity, looking for signs, synchronicities, number patterns, uh, hearing songs, music. Um, and poised. I feel like you make this person feel very happy. You're both feeling good right now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't change, but I feel like you definitely got this person up in their head, in their thoughts, thinking about you. All right, uh, so let's get into it. Leo, this is good energy so far. All right, current situation with Leo's person. What's going on? Current energies for Leo's person. Keep in mind, Leo, it is a general reading. I could say your person's energies, but it could be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? So it could be your energy instead, all right? So take it how it resonates. Starting off with the High Priestess, uh, Scorpionic, Pisces energy. Yeah, I think they're really trying to listen to their intuition here and go within. What else? What else? Tower and Five of Swords. Okay. For some of you, there could have been a secret that came out. Um, now there's a tower moment going on and there's some internal conflict. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. What is this? Oh, Leo's person, what's going on? Leo's person. What's going on? Show me clearly, show me clearly. All right, we got Queen of Wands, Aries Energy, Aries Leo Sag, and Ten of Cups. All right. Either you're dealing with another fire sign here or this person could see you as this queen of wands, whatever to get out resonates, okay? What is this tower? Did you reject them? <laughs> Leo, did you reject this person? And now they're like, I thought things were good, or I thought you were the one, and now they're all up in their head. It was like a tower moment came crashing down on them. What is this tower? Yep, there you are. Clarify this tower for me, please. Why is this tower here? Hmm. All right, a lot of people just showed up. Oof. Okay, we have the Emperor, Aries Energy, the King of Wands, that's you. We have Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Queen of Cups is here too. Oh boy, and then the Magician. Was there some kind of trickery, manipulation, games, something, secrets, something came to light, the things came crashing down? I kind of feel like I'm seeing two couples here. So Leo, if you were in a connection and then this person was in a connection and then you guys like met and we're trying to get together here, something could have been brought to light and crashed things down. I feel like this person, when it comes to you, sees you as their happiness though. 
Like if you were both unhappy in a situation or was in the process of leaving somebody and you met this person, some, some secrets may have come out. Take it how it resonates. Could be flip-flopped, whatever. Wow. All right. What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this? Yeah, someone was a little bit of a player. Sneaky, being sneaky, abandoned. Seven of Swords, sneaky behavior, lies, deception, manipulation, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. That is like my player card. What in the heck? Why are there so many people here involved? So many people. Yep, a new beginning in love, being blocked. Things are in choppy waters. Oh. What is this? Blockages for Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Putting in work and effort, or did you work with this person and like a love romance thing evolved and like you're both married and turned into that? Did it come out? Did you like lose your job over this? What the heck is this? Wow. Eight of Cups as a blockage. Either somebody walked away, which is also here too. Time to go on underlying energy, fork in the road. I feel like there was a situation ship happening. Other people were involved. Other commitments were involved. Uh, something came to light. Things came crashing down. Someone was stuck. Eight of Swords, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Someone was stuck and didn't know which path to choose, which way to go, how to move things forward. Now I have the King of Pentacles. What the heck? You're going to have to let me know why there's so many people here. Um, how does this person truly feel about you? Now we have Libra showing up. <laughs> Queen of Wands. This person feels like after all this, you are very cold and cut off towards this person. You are very cold and cut off towards this person. The hanged man, Pisces energy. Pulling your energy back to gain some clarity, get a new perspective. The fool, Aries energy on which way you're going to take a leap of faith now. So this person sees that you are like, I feel like maybe this person didn't tell you the full truth or put you in a third party situation. Maybe this blessed and flexible was like, you know, you're going with the flow and then some truth came to light and things came crashing down. Um, I feel like you pulled your energy back, Leo. They might be thinking you're taking a leap of faith in a different direction here. What is this? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel? How do they feel? Six of Wands. They see you shining in the spotlight, getting attention. I feel like they do want victory and success with you, but they see you making a decision here. What is this? Yeah, there was drama, competition, tower moments, too many people involved. Somebody could have been married, house, home. Commitment. Oof. Yep, there's that tower. Scorpionic energy. How do they feel about you? It's the second tower in this reading. Things came crashing down here. And now they want to talk. Because they still feel that soulmate bond with you, Leo. They want to move things forward. They feel that you're their soulmate. You're, I feel like you're holding back. Uh, 
you got this person all up in their head. I feel like they're really trying to manifest you or they're waiting for signs from you that it's okay to reach out. Let's see. Potential outcome here for Leo. Keep in mind you have free will. So do they. So you can change your mind and so can they. So what's the potential outcome here? That's way too many. Potential outcome for Leo. Potential outcome for Leo in this situation. Six of Wands. Victory and success. They're getting attention, moving on to calmer waters. Eight of Cups, walking away to get justice here. Walking away to get justice and to move into calmer waters. Page of Swords and Four of Wands. They're, they are watching you and not in a stalker way they're just observing watching seeing what you're up to if you're going out and living your best life they're watching you on social media um they want to level this up they they want some kind of commitment or level up here they they feel you're their soulmate but man oh man did they screw up Someone screwed up big. I can't take all of this. They could be waiting. They want to heal, Leo. What is this waiting? What is this three of wands? What are they waiting for? That could be you. Could be you waiting because you don't know. And I feel like right now you're going to stay single. Is this person going to be sneaky again? Are their actions not going to match their words? Is it going to create that chaos and conflict? Um, for some of you, you might be moving towards a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because you feel happiness there. So you could have walked away from this nonsense leo and you could be walking towards a queen of pentacles if it's not a, an earth sign it could just be somebody who is stable who is loyal who can offer long-term stability here and i feel like it would make you very happy so i feel like for most of you you are you are just done see a wish fulfillment the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn it's also like the long-term married couple. So you could either be going back to that or you are moving towards someone that can give you long-term stability here. I don't know. I don't know, Leo. I feel like some of you might go back to this person. Some of you may not. This poise, serendipity, co-create could be this new person. And they're thinking about you, you know, and you're leaving this madness behind. So take it how it resonates. All right. Biggest obstacle for Leo. Biggest obstacle for Leo. Biggest obstacle. Harmony. So finding that happy, happiness and peace and compromise. Yeah, see, you may ha you may feel like you have to compromise too much in order for this to work. Too much of yourself, your beliefs, your morals, your your values, your worth. There might be too much compromise that you have to give to this person. There's a lot of people that showed up here. So I don't know what kind of fuckery was going on, but there was a lot of people involved. All right, and then totality. So having that hope and faith, finding that trust, um, having that person to lean on and maybe completing something. Completing a cycle, a karmic cycle, a lesson. All right. All right. What else? What else for Leo? Denial. 
Repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. All right, you guys, ask yourself a yes or no question. I will tell you the answer in one second. All right, a yes or no answer to a question. And three, two, one. The answer to your question is no. All right, anything else for Leo? Feminine, your divine feminine, you seeking her twin or soulmate. Yeah. Balance, transformation. Yeah. I don't think there was balance here. I think that's what you're really looking for is balance, you know? And loyalty, honesty, faithfulness, all of that. All right, what else? What do we got for Leo? Just being near you is intoxicating. I replay our conversations over and over. I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. You and I were too young. Take that how it resonates. I can't stop thinking about you. I know that I crossed the line with you. We both know I am not the one for you, and I regret lying to you. See, there, there was something that was hidden that came to light. All right, let's get some letters here, initials. First, middle, last name, initial. Uh, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, and if they have the first, or the same first and last name initial, feel free to double it, because I only have one of each letter. All right, Leo, we have H V Y F E. A N P Z O L U N R. So H V Y F E A N O L Z P U R. All right, let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, date of significance, an age, an angel number, um, number of weeks, days, months, years, whatever. Take it how it resonates, okay? We have one, two, two, and eleven. You already had a lot of angel numbers showing up before. The four fours, eights, I think. A lot of fours. Oh, and twenty-two. All right. So look, two, two, twenty-two. Angel number. Look that up. Um, could be the number twenty-two. Let me get another number. Eleven. Eleven is showing up now. And five. All right. So one, two, five, eleven could be the first, second, fifth, or eleventh of any month. Could be January, February, May, or November. And zodiac signs. Could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Leo season, for instance. All right, what do we got? Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo. All right, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you, please.